The church has got a story to tell to all the nations. We've got the news that we hope they are waiting to hear. It's written in our prayer book on page 880. It's there in black and white, and it is very, very clear. Easter Day is always the Sunday after full moon, occurring on or after the March spring equinox. This date is fixed in keeping with an ancient computation and does not always correspond to the astronomical equinox. In Lent, I got a phone call. A voice came into my ear. What day of the week does Easter happen this year? His second question came and it made me kind of nervous. What time on Easter day is your 10 o'clock service? I told him he is welcome to be here every Sunday. He said, oh, I think that just on Easter Sunday will do. But just in case I want more, what does your church have in store? What is your message? Tell me what you proclaim as true. And I said, Easter day is always the Sunday after full moon occurring on or after the March spring equinox. This date is fixed in keeping with an ancient computation and does not always correspond to the astronomical equinox. He said, so that's your message. My heart is strangely warm. I know that I can go out now and stand up to the storm with luck this year on Easter, Christ will get rid of our gloom. But if he sees his shadow, he'll go back in his tomb. I told him he is crazy, that understanding hazy. His heresy just made me tear out all of my hair. Oh, he may have the questions, but I've got all the answers from page 880 of my Book of Common Prayer, where it says, Easter day is always the Sunday after full moon, occurring on or after the March spring equinox. This date is fixed in keeping with an ancient computation ecclesiastical and does not always correspond to the astronomical equinox. Really?